anyway, I don't know why the state is doing this with the medical marijuana. It's just not one person ever in the history of medical marijuana has died of an overdose. As far as kids getting their hands on it, it doesn't kill children. We'll just have a little bit of a trip. And it's the parents' fault for leaving it out. So if I was a if I had kids in my house, I would have my edibles and my medical supplies locked up safe and sound in my room. So if your kid eats it, you're a freaking uh, you don't care about your kid. That's neglect. Take a class or read a book. I just made a batch of brownies for us. This will be good. These are the old ones. Well, they're still... They're still good. We can eat them. They last a while. There's also, you know, like looking at houses today, I just love, love, love that property. on top of that big beautiful hill with trees. The thing is the house <laughs> you have to knock the house out and build all over again. The two acres is a lot. We could like on two acres. Oh my god, you know how many people you can you need a calculator. How many people can you feed on two acres of land with two to three harvests a year? Um, answer a freaking shit a lot. Um, where's my tea? Microwave tea. So anyway, this off the off the beaten path community. I'm buying a house not to help me or my wife. We want to buy a house to help others. There's no other point to buying it. And I'll tell you something that's really hilarious. It's hilarious that I missed this, but what's even more hilarious is that people define themselves by it a freaking house. I've read stories of people who've committed suicide because they lost the job and they couldn't pay their mortgage. Or worse yet, murder suicide. That's the ticket. You lose your job at Intel for 190 grand. I know. I'll go home, kill my wife, and then kill myself. What the fuck? If that's not a denial of materialism, I don't know what is. And I'll tell everybody something else, you know. This is a passionate time for me. And it's a it's a time of revelation. Everybody's angry at the president. I'll tell you what. I'm a Muslim. That's right. I am. And I'm not embarrassed to say it. I was ashamed to say it because I also still believe in Orthodox Christianity. And I still believe in the Taoist principles. But I'm a Muslim. And I've read, if you haven't read the Quran, at least two hadiths, and I've got a, a reading list this high about my religion. I don't want to talk to you. Historically speaking, what are you basing anything on about your knowledge of, of Islam? How many Muslims do any of you know? Now you know one. And I was embarrassed to say it because I don't want to get beat up. And I'd probably be considered more of a liberal or 
rather than conservative, I don't drink alcohol. And uh, they're smart because hashish is not is still Islam. They they invented hashish. The Arab people invented hashish. Look it up. End algebra. And you know that whole nice renaissance the West had? Thank you very much. Because that came from the exodus of intelligentsia elites who left the last foothold of Christianity in Constantinople before it became Istanbul and one of our caliphates took that. They don't forget. Does anybody know where Constantinople even is? Does anybody know why and what year that happened? And how thwarted it was? That The Ottoman Empire, right? Please. Last 1917. Read another book about the First World War. Everybody's blaming a man uh, that's been in office two weeks. That the, 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 the Muslims hate us because of him. Oh my God! No! It's been longer than that, my friends. I'd say more along the lines of centuries. I've studied Arabic cultures very closely. I have many Muslim friends. I do not go to a mosque because I consider all of creation a mosque. Everything was created by Allah. So every place I am, I am in prayer. For most of you, actually. Nobody wants to cut anybody's head off, okay? Oh, no, I'm out of wax paper. Well, I'll improvise. People say it's extremist. Maybe so. Let me ask everybody something here. I love our troops. And I love the men that I've worked with who've been injured. One of my friends, two of them, committed suicide from too many tours. My own brother disowned me because he, he's nuts. They don't like our decadence. They don't like pornography. We, they, we. I'm a rotten Muslim. Because I have booked at all that stuff. And I'll admit it, you know, I gotta have somebody to answer to for that. Jesus to answer to. He's the judge. He's the Mahdi. Look it up. If you don't know what the Medea is, shut up about any dialogue about Islam, because I'm sick of hearing it. As far as letting my Islamic brothers and sisters into the countries from the peoples of the West, not all of them are Muslim, number one. And number two, there's a lot of Orthodox Christians. The people that were left behind, all these Christianities that have existed since Peter, Paul, Philip, Thomas. Thomas founded his church, Kerala, India. It's still there. The sacraments that they have are still there. Muhammad always praised, praise be upon his name, Jesus Christ. He was one of the 12 greater prophets. There's 144,000 lesser prophets. Allah sends prophets with his word to tell to people. If you don't listen to that word, you've been warned. It's like telling a 10-year-old, don't put, or a 3-year-old, don't put your hand in the oven, honey. And they do and get burned.
Should they be let in? It needs to be on a case-by-case -case basis, honestly. And I, I want my Muslim brothers and sisters, and my Christian brothers and sisters, and my Hindu brothers and sisters, and my Buddhist brothers and sisters, and my atheist brothers and sisters, and my human brothers and sisters to be together. We're divided by the people that write the paychecks for you. We're all wage slaves. It's different kinds of slavery, that and of the mind. How do you not see you're being controlled? How do you not see that? Corporations own us. And there's no war going on, I was told by somebody, a few people. <laughs> so I'm making dinner right now. I like to burn incense and myrrh. Yeah. It smells like heaven, it smells like power, paradise. And yes, I believe in an afterlife. And yes, I believe in the devil. He's real. But this, Shaitan, he's appeared to me. I've spoken with him. He's evil. You don't have to believe in something for it to exist. You don't have to see something for it to exist. For example, I have a closed oven. What's in there to you doesn't exist. When I show it, maybe it exists. Let's see how my marijuana, medical marijuana prescribed by a competent doctor, brownies have turned out. All right, I'm starting to sound a little angry and upset here, Diane. We're gonna make, I'm gonna make a, my next thing, the crusty cinnamon swirl. And we're going to have a nice vegetarian stir fry. I learned, pardon me, I learned that from um, an anesthesiologist, uh, yoga, Dr. Nate, Nate, yeah, Yoga Nathan from Sri Lanka. Very nice man. Cardiac anesthesiologist. I was his assistant for five years. Did you want to keep going? Huh? Did you want to keep going? Oh, what? Uh, I thought you said that you wanted to stop. Oh, uh, it's up to you. I don't know. Were you getting upset? No. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I'm passionate. 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 Upset is throwing rocks through windows that don't belong to you because you don't agree with somebody. <laughs> That's upset. Okay. That's angry. No, I'm not. I just was wanting people to know some things that I want to help people understand that things aren't as black and white as they think they are and that they don't have all the information, not just you know, the secrets, but they don't even know the slightest bit about Arabic culture. Hardly anybody's taken the time. The only people that take Islamic studies now are Muslims and maybe a few curious white liberals or black liberals because you know what? I know plenty of black folks and they're doing well. I know plenty of white folks, they're not. I know plenty of black folks, they ain't doing well. It's got nothing to do with our color. We all bleed red. Anyway, so our stir fry tonight is going to be, I don't know what I called it. His wife made it, but I got her recipe in my mind, and then I kind of docked her. I put some of my Italian cooking in there, too. Anyway, so. So that's I, good. That's good. How do you want it? You want it very spicy? I think that's good for this. Okay. Yes, yeah, spicy is good. All right. All right. God bless everybody. Thank Shalom. you.
Thank you. Bye.